Be the best you can be. Those words often rolled off the tongue of the late Stuart Mills Jr. He passed away a week ago today, but each day he'd wake up and live by those words. Chris Burns gives us a deeper look into the legacy left behind by a man who tried each day to make someone else's life a little easier. His legacy for the Brainerd Lakes area is, um, like I said, it is truly far and wide. He's one of those guys that statues are built about. Stuart C. Mills was born on September 8, 1928 in Brainerd, Minnesota. He would attend school there, he'd build businesses there, and he would love every minute spent there. He lived and breathed the city of Brainerd and he gave a lot of time and effort and money and everything to Brainerd and he kept his businesses in Brainerd when lots of people were saying he shouldn't have shouldn't do that. He would leave Brainerd for a little while. He attended the University of Minnesota, finished his business administration degree at Hamline University, and would travel the world defending our country as a member of the National Guard and serving in the Army, all the while never changing who he was. His love of country, his love of community, and his love of family uh, it was, ran very deep with him. was kind, generous, loyal, um, hardworking, all the, the superlatives you can dis say describe him. Mills Jr. would take over his dad's automotive group and he and his twin brother Henry Mills would start Mills Fleet Farm in 1955. He would take all of his success and put it right back into the place he loved, Brainerd, and he would always do it anonymously. He never wanted any limelight he never wanted anybody to um, acknowledge his, his giving. When asking people what his biggest contribution was, one of two things would happen. They couldn't list any because he did it so in secret, or they would have a very long list. Well, I don't even know 10% of them. I mean, uh, like you said, they were anonymous. He supported veterans. He supported homeless. He supported uh, food shelves. Um, he supported the, the activities and the events that put Brainerd on the map. His legacy trickled down through all of the family and all of the kids, and I think you've seen that with the progression of Mills Fleet Farm, the car dealerships, and all of the above. Although he passed away on September 24th, if you take a trip in Brainerd, you can still see a city littered with his fingerprints. You will not find an, anybody um, close <laughs> to what Stuart Mills was. His golden footprints will never be forgotten. I and my family will miss him a lot. Um, his family obviously will miss him a lot. All his friends are going to miss him, and the city of Brainerd will miss him. Reporting in Brainerd for Lakeland News, I'm Chris Burns. Mills sold Mills Fleet Farm back in 2016, but he held on to his car dealerships. He continued being an owner of the Mills Automotive Group along with his daughter, Marissa May Mills. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.